Hi everybody, my name is Rhys Barber, I'm the Audiologist here at Audiology Associates. Thank you very much for watching our video today. If you've never come across one of our videos before, or if you haven't looked at the channel before, what we do here is post earwax removal videos. We post new ones every Tuesday and every Friday. So if you have any questions about the video that you go out to watch, then pop them into the comment section below, and that way then the most popular questions we can answer at the end of the week. So enjoy the video, and I shall see you at the end. Hi everyone, it's Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thank you very much for watching our video today. Um, this is an EWAX compilation video, so an EWAX removal comp uh, compilation video for you. This gentleman's come through with quite hardened up EWAX on one side, just needs this removing today. Just had a bit of reduced hearing basically in here. Um, while we're looking at this ear canal, thank you so much for all your messages of good luck and congratulations about me getting married last weekend. Uh, we had an absolutely fab time, it was amazing. Uh, thank you so much, guys. It was really, really appreciated by myself and Leah. Um, so, what we're going to use today is a standard size on the tube. We're using this just to free up the, the wax from the canal wall. At the moment, you can see as we're moving the zona tooth through this wax, it's moving a little bit. So it's not completely hardened up into a into kind of a solid block, but there's a little bit of movement, a little bit of flexibility to this wax. Because that's the case, you tend to find it's really tacky and sticky. So I'm trying to unstick this from uh, all the canal walls around the earwax, first of all, just moving it back and forth just to wiggle it back and forth. Uh, the reason I'm doing that, chances are we're probably gonna need to use a Jobson horn to remove this, and if we free it up from the canal walls, first of all, it helps it to slide out a bit better. If you're watching this video on Facebook, uh, we will be putting two videos on a week on here, guys, And uh, but there will be other content you won't see on Facebook on our YouTube channel, so if you want to see more videos, you can always subscribe to us there, which is Audiology Associates UK on YouTube. I'll pop a link into uh, into the description below. So just put a little bit of olive oil in here and we're just loosening this wax up a little bit just so we can get the Jobson horn in over the top. So with the Jobson horn we're looking to try and get behind the wax and bring it forwards. So we've got a good grip on it there and out it comes. So it came out in nice one nice big piece and there we go you can see there's a little bit of little bit of swimmers here to the left hand side there as well um so this is the piece we took out here uh, if you're watching this video on youtube and you don't mind popping a, a like on our facebook page we'll also be putting some videos that you don't see on youtube onto facebook once a week as well now so you get uh, we cover every base for you there so this is uh another patient coming through they have some quite dry wax here can see the entrance here canal is a little bit on the narrow side so not as easy to uh, to remove because it's not going to leave us a great deal of room in there so the first thing we're going to do is use a standard size on the tube just to do a little bit of gentle probing of this wax there you go you can just see just scraping along the outside edge of the wax here breaking a few little crumbly pieces away on the outside part of the ear canal going to be using the same kind of technique as you saw just a second ago so really kind of freeing this wax up from the canal walls first of all just moving it back and forth you can see lots of little pieces all crumbling away getting sucked up into this uh, into this zona tube here there you go some skin and dry ear wax getting sucked in there The skin that we're removing from the canal wall is actually dead skin. It should normally come away, but the wax has trapped it in there, so it won't, uh, wasn't able to get through. Got a grip on uh, a nice bit of dry ear wax there at the base, so that's come away. Just trying to take the leading edge away there on the, the right side and the, towards the bottom. You can see the centre of this wax is actually quite dry. The outer side is quite crumbly and came away quite nicely. When you get to this, uh, this centre section, it's more of a solid plug. So, here comes the Jobson horn. It's that narrow, we have to go in sideways to get it in, first of all. So the trick here is to get above the wax. You can just see there, just pushing a little bit of downward pressure in there. Just to try and get a little bit of a grip on the centre of the wax. As we're bringing it out, then go behind it again. Just try and bring it out a little bit more slowly. There you go. It's on its way. There we are. You can see lots of little bits of hair in there. Get a good look at it there. 
and just checking behind this now so what we can see now we've got some dry skin around the outside edge we've got some wax covering the actual eardrum itself so the first thing we're going to do is just use the standard size on the tube we can't use the jobson horn on this because it's too deep uh, we would run the rescue train imagine you've got to get behind the wax to bring it forward this uh, this earwax is actually stuck to the eardrum itself so we just going to do very gentle there you go see some of that dry skin peeling away there as we take that away very gentle suction holding on to this wax bringing it forwards getting it away from the eardrum allows us to make a larger movements then there you go starting to work its way out you can see it's stretching it's quite dry stretching away there obviously you've got to remember it's a narrow entrance to the canal so getting it past that point is a difficult there we are there's the eardrum looks nice and shiny so same patient other side now so you can see we've got quite a large hard uh, dry lump of wax there as well same thing as before using the Jobson horn uh, Jobson horn sorry using the Zolna tube to unstick it from the canal wall Yeah, it's broken a piece off. You can see we've got this long uh, strip of skin here. See how thin it is? It's it's difficult to pull this out sometimes with um, with the suction tube. So I'm just going to use the crocodile forceps just to grip this and take this away. There we go, because that's just holding a lot of this dry wax in there. Back to the suction tube now. See, once we get that one piece away, you can see the uh, skin of the wax now that's behind it. It's all starting to move, starting to migrate down the canal. You know, just wiggling up and down to make sure we get it out. Okay, let's take a look behind that now. Okay. Just gently coming down the canal. Try not to touch too much on the canal walls as it comes down, just because it can be quite uncomfortable for the patient. There we go. Got it to the outer part of the ear canal now. So this is actually at the entrance of the canal. There you go. Check behind that now. Mm, there's a little bit more still in there. As with the other side, it's pushed right up against the eardrum. So we've got to be very careful here. So very gently pulling this wax towards us. So rather than using the movement, uh, getting a grip on it, using the movement of the, the Zona tube to, to wiggle this free, I'm just going to use the, the actual suction uh, movement itself. So get close to the wax and, and pull it towards the suction tube. There you go. That way then you don't run risk of damaging the eardrum um you know you can be a lot gentler with this so just you can see there we're just getting a grip on it just getting a suction grip there see that pulling away and peeling away as it comes away there's a little bit more in there yep there we are so this is quite stuck to the right hand side canal wall so if i try and get suction on the the rear end of that wax to bring it forwards it it's not going to pull forwards very easily so i'm going to keep this on the two really close to the canal wall and just gently scrape along the top of the wax which is going to lift it from the canal wall and that should then help us get a really good grip and it should all peel out in one go so we're just aiming so we're just going to go back in same thing again very close to the canal wall but trying not to touch it and then getting a grip there can you see it pull there you go so it drags all that wax from deeper in the canal there it comes there you go so that was resting right up against the ear canal and the eardrum so there we are lovely shiny eardrum so uh, this is what we removed from the second patient. So obviously this is both ears here, guys. So um, lots of, sort of dead skin, clumps of wax in there as well.
Thank you very much for watching our video today. If you did enjoy the video, then please like. If you're not subscribed already and you'd like to do so, you can click the subscribe button here. If you'd like to check out some more of our videos, they're also up there. Now, if you want to follow us, you can do on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also check our website if you want to know a little bit more about us. And as always, guys, until the next time, take care.